Hello dear student, welcome to the MSBT online learning platform at your doorstep. Course Environmental Study Course Code 22447 Myself, Mr. N. U. Sulbheva, Senior Lecturer, Government Polytechnic, Karchuruli. No. Today we will going to learn the topic energy resources. Unit 2 energy resources. Course outcome 2 select alternative energy resources for engineering practice. Unit outcome describe renewable, non renewable, and cyclic resources. What we will learn today? That is renewable resources non-renewable resources and cycl cyclic resources. The content of this course outcome is renewable resources, non-renewable resources and cyclic resources. In this course outcome, we will learn the concept map that is resources that are renewable resources non-renewable resources, cyclic resources and the examples of the renewable resources are sun, air, wind and the examples of non-renewable resources are fossil fuel, coal, oil and natural gas and example of the cyclic resources uh, is water. Now we will discuss renewable resources in detail. Resources are can be replenished naturally in the course of time are called renewable resources. These energy resources are continuously replenished at a constant rate. Examples of the renewable resources are solar power, sun, hydropower, flowing water, wind energy due to wind, tidal energy due to tide, geothermal energy due to hot spring and biogas due to biomass. This figure shows all the applications of the renewable resources. Solar power. Sun is a powerful source of energy that provides the earth with as much energy every hour. The solar energy helps in maintaining the changes in the atmosphere and clim climate cycle. What are the uses of solar power? Solar cooker, solar water heater. Solar electricity generator. This figure shows solar panel station at the terrace. Second use hydropower means running water. Flowing water is a channel channelized through water turbine which rotate a shaft and derive an electrical generator converting the motion into electrical energy. Now, dams are constructed across the river is used for generating hydroelectricity. What are the uses of hydropower? Hydropower plants can generate power to the grid immediately. They provide essential backup power during major electricity disruption. Hydropower produce a number of benefits such as flood control, irrigation and water supply to the city or a town. In this figure it shows dam constructed across the river and due to this hydraulic jump that electricity gets generated. Now wind energy that is due to the wind. Winds are caused by the uneven heating of the atmosphere by the sun 
the irregularity of the earth surface and rotation of the earth wind farms consist of individual wind turbine which are connected to the electric power what are the uses of wind energy wind energy can be converted into mechanical and electrical energy to generate electricity using windmill this figure show how the windmill used for generating the electricity tidal energy the energy derived from the rise and fall of the sea tide is converted into electricity at sea shore what are the uses of tidal energy tidal energy is used to rotate turbines and generate electricity energy storage tidal energy can also be used as a store of energy geothermal energy this is the interesting one geothermal energy is thermal energy generated and stored in the earth this is the heat of interior of the earth present at the volcanic geyser geyser or hot spring what are the uses of geothermal energy it is utilized to generate electricity it is used for heating building drying crops heating water at fish farm geothermal energy station in the station how these hot waters gets converted into electricity using number of operations biogas biogas plant turn dungs and organic waste into a clean low cost fuel and organic manure gobar gas is a smokeless domestic fuel it can be produced from cattle dung the methane gas is generated from the gobar gas plant which having high calorific value what are the uses of gobar gas it is used for cooking purpose as well as for lighting the outdoor street lamp in the villages this figure show how the biogas plants work on the basis of anaerobic slur digestion now non renewable resources second one resources that exist in the limited supply and cannot be replaced or if they are used up are called non renewable resources these resources are exhaustible these energy resources are exhaustible that's why it is used carefully examples of the non renewable resources are oil natural gas coal nuclear fuels this figure show the non renewable resources number 1 oil oil is a liquid petroleum or crude oil is the only non renewable resource in the fluid form what are the uses of oils for getting gasoline heating oil and diesel fuel number 2 for manufacturer utilize oil as a base for some product like plastic in this figure we show how um, oil is uh, poured in the engine poured in this vehicle natural gas natural gas is a fossil fuel formed 
when layers of buried plants, gas and animals are exposed to the intense heat and pressure over thousands of years. Once driller extract natural gas, processing plants remove the propane and butane to obtain liquefied petroleum gas. What are the uses of natural gas? LPG is used as a household for cooking and industrial fuel. LPG is also used as a fuel in the vehicle for transportation purpose. Coal Coal is the product of millions of years of pressure on the original plants, organic matter buried under the ground. Now, it is combustible black or brownish black sedimentary rock. What are the uses of coal? At the power plant, coal is commonly burned in a boiler to produce steam. And the steam is run through a turbine to generate electricity. It, it is also used for metallurgical, in, industrial and domestic purpose. This coal also called as the black gold. Nuclear fuel. Nuclear power is the use of exothermic nuclear process to generate useful heat and electricity. The term include nuclear fusion, nuclear decay. What are the use of nuclear fuel? Nuclear fuel is used in nuclear power station to produce heat to power turbine for, gener for electricity generation. This figure shows how this nuclear fuel is used. Now last resources is cyclic resources. The resource which can be used again and again after passing through some process are known as cyclic resources. For example, water used in the industry and domestic way can be cleaned and used again for the other purpose. Such resources are called as cyclic resources. That drop of water, that water is the good example of cyclic resources. Now summarize, we have studied renewable resources, non-renewable resources and cyclic resources. Today, references Professor Barucha, Dr. Y.K. Singh, Dr. J.P. Sharma, M.P. Singh, R. Raj Gopalan. Thank you all.